This is Rob Marchant from Clive Emerson Land and Property Auctioneers and this is uh, Rookley Villa at uh, Ventnor which is available in the next online land and property auction. It's the freehold interest in this attractive Victorian building in the centre of the town. Uh, three of the four flats are vacant. Uh, the fourth has been sold off on a long lease uh, for a term of 99 years from 1977. So obviously well into that lease term and potential uh, I would guess for lease extension at some stage. Uh, nice spot here. Please excuse the uh, noise in the background. If you can pick up the uh, radio from the nearby construction site. The guys have got their radio on. But, uh, nice spot close to the car park and as indicated in the middle of town. Short walk down the road into the high street so let's head inside and uh, have a look at the internal accommodation so starting on the ground floor we've got flat one which is the bottom left when viewing the block from the front up on the first floor is flat two which has been sold off on the previously mentioned long lease so moving inside flat one See entrance hall and immediately on the right hand side is the kitchen nicely fitted and on the other side of the hall overlooking the front of the building with a view out where we shot the initial stages of the video from. And at the end of the hall we've got the living room. Road, evidence of some what looks like rising damp. And then finally, in flat one, we've got the bathroom which is tucked away in the back right hand corner so that's flat one we'll move on and have a look at flats three and four. Access to flats three and four is along the right hand side of the building. Up. And then flat three up in the top left hand corner if we're viewing from the front, and flat four, which is the bottom right hand side when viewed from the front. So let's start in flat four, the other ground floor unit, and have a look at the internal accommodation. Flat four is the most interesting in terms of layout in that it's Set out over two floors, so immediately inside the doorway we've got a cloakroom. And then through to the left, we've got this open plan living room, straight kitchen. Looking, up to, looking back towards the rear courtyard where we came in. And then down to the main living area. 
connected bay. Looking out over the front. And then back down towards the kitchen. So then as indicated, this one has a lower floor. So we head down the stairs and at the bottom to the left, we've got the bedroom. And then across to the other side, we've got the bathroom. Which has got bath and shower, as you can see. Relatively recently refitted by the look of it. And then back adjacent to the staircase, this useful store cupboard. So that's flat four. We'll head on now and have a look at the last of the three vacant flats, which is on the first floor, and that's flat three. So as indicated earlier, flat three is the top left-hand flat when viewed from the front, and the access is up this wrought iron staircase. So at the top of the staircase, we go in to the kitchen immediately off of the stairs. And that in turn runs through to the living room. Nice uh, shape and bright and sunny room. View out over the front. See the construction site mentioned earlier. And the car park away to the right. And as we work our way through. And finally, again on the front of the building, we've got the bedroom for this unit. Attractive fireplace, still in situ. So this is flat three, the last of the three empty flats. And as a final reminder, this is Rookley Villa in Ventnor. Freehold interest in all four flats with three vacant and ideal for adding to an income producing nesting portfolio. And the freehold interest in the whole building is available in the next online Clive Emerson Land and Property auction.